What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a few PC mods for Farming Simulator 19. We've got a couple of new PC mods the last couple of days. Uh, ones that I've been kind of interested in. They're all kind of bins. They're all grain bins, auger bins, that kind of thing. So uh, I wanted to quickly talk about them, take a look at them, do a quick uh, first look on these things. So we got a couple here. We got, well, a couple over there. And we're even going to get to whatever the heck that is back there. So stick around, let's dig into it. Better patter. Clutch Simulations. All right, so first up, we've got the JNM 680 Gravity Grain Trailers. Uh, gravity Wagons. These things are awesome. They are so good looking. Ah, oh, man, I love them. So uh, most of the trailers we have, the grain trailers we have, they're either some kind of a tipper or a rear dump or something along those lines. I haven't seen too many that are a gravity fed or uh, a bottom dump kind of like these are. So let me see if I can just pull up slowly here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Whoa, that's heavy. <laughs> uh, look at that. Even pushed the rear end up on me there. Uh, so we'll select the first one get out you'll see this little lounge kind of opens up drops down it's all animated great looking trailer now it does take a little bit to dump I find so we're not gonna dump every single one of these that would take a while but uh, actually it looks like it's kind of smiling at you here doesn't it or maybe you can I don't know <laughs> but really nice looking trailer uh, and like I said you can, you can connect obviously as many as you wish to this row and use it that way um, but I don't think we have anything that's quite like these, uh, these little lower dumps. So it's something a little bit different and uh, definitely a bit authentic. You can see the level going down. That looks cool. So good. Love it. That's great. Anyways, I'll take a look at the store here and uh, we'll see how much these are going to cost you. Base price will be 19120 There we go. Uh, and you're holding 24,000, almost 24,000 liters in it. Now as for options, uh, color, you got your rim options. There's three different changes there. Not a lot of change or options for your rim colors. Same with the actual colors. You only have the three. Uh, the design color doesn't seem to activate for anything. I think that is... I'm not quite sure. I don't see an option for that. I don't see anything that changes at all on that, unless it's for one of the other options. Um, painting style, you have the new or the old decals, depending on what you like there. You got an option to put a triangle up on the back. Uh, wheel setup is interesting as well. You have the standard. You got wides and you got the twins. Now I really like the twins. The twins look really great. That looks very cool. Um, and then lastly, you have an option to have a cover. So you can have just the supports or you can have the cover as well. Actually, that is what our design is right there. I missed that on my first playthrough. So your design color changes your uh, tarp color. There we go. Awesome. All right, so that is the JNM 680. That is done by JHHG Modding and Sid Modding. Uh, make sure the link is in the description for that. These here are the Coolamin 24T and the 30T auger wagons, guys. Also, some really nice looking auger wagons. Some extra additions we can add to uh, our arsenal in that section there. It seems like that is a little bit dry uh, in a lot of cases. These are really nice looking auger wagons. Now, I've had these in the past and uh, there was just a bit of a paint issue. It was the 24T I had. And uh, anyways, these have been updated just this last week. They've been posted, so I thought I'd show them as well. There's been some additions made. Now, first of all, the options between the two are exactly the same. It's just the size difference. That's all you're gonna get here. But you can see now we have an option of having a track version, which is great. That's cool. I don't think that was available on the original version. Off the top of my head. It might have been, but I don't think it was. Um, and as well, the these are the Nokian tires. These are some really look, nice looking tires. Look at, look at those. I don't know if the detail is as good on any of the other stuff that we have. These ones look really, really good for, for detail. Um, I'm just not sure if this is just this particular mod or if I'm just noticing it for the first time right now. Anyways, let's go uh, jump into the store and take a look at these. So the way you're going to find these in your uh, your shop, they're going to be separated all individually. You won't be have them as an option to buy one with the wheel, one with the track, 
and vice versa. Uh, you can see here we have the 24 T chaser bins and the 30 T chaser bins up a little higher. So uh, the smaller ones, the 24 T's are 28,000 liters, the 30 T's are 37,000 liters. You can see the price points there. Um, you're looking extra, almost ten, almost ten thousand dollars extra to go with the tracks, but hey, that's what you got to pay for, I guess. Now, if we were to jump inside, um, if we go into the tracks actually first, there's not a lot of options here, just a ball hitch or a pin hitch. That's the only options you're going to get. Or if you go into the chaser bins, you have options for the tires. You got Trelleborg, Michelin, and Nokians. Now, with the Trelleborg, you also have a couple other options: twin radials or the TM two thousands, also ball or pin hitch. And of course, we have the Nokians that I just noticed are extremely detailed on these bigger tires. Um, Michelins, you have, there we go, you've got two, two options with the Michelins as well. I forgot about that. So you've got two options with your Michigan, Michelins. Uh, one is more of a, uh, a street tire. All right, so that there is the 24T and the 30T. Another good option for uh, some grain auger wagons. Now, last of all, <laughs> the mother bin. Um... Yeah, this thing is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This is the 200T. So we have the 24 and the uh, 24 and the 30T over there. This is the 200T, guys. It is something. Um, absolutely something. Now, I've got it empty right now. The one thing, if you have the real weight mod on and you're trying to tow this thing, good luck. <laughs> I mean, this is virtually a silo on its side. And look at the way the wheels work on that. Uh, you can open it up. Uh, there we go. We'll shut this back off again here. I don't know if we can get up inside. It's too tall. Oh, man, I can't even get up in there. It's way too tall. Let's see if I can actually look this way here. There we go, you can kind of see inside the bin. But this is an absolute massive monstrosity of an auger bin. Uh, yeah, so it's essentially, like I said, a silo on its side. But hey, if you got some crazy mods running and you want to use this to do a dump into from someplace else, why not? Let's go take a look at this in the store, guys. So if we keep on scrolling past our 30T, you're going to find, well, we have the 100T, the 150T, and the 200T. You can see the prices there. 117 all the way up to 150,000. Uh, they'll take anything. They'll take absolutely everything you can put into them. So as for options, oh, it barely even fits on the screen. There we go. So you have a rim color option. That's pretty much it. Kind of get it to match. <laughs> uh, your wheel brands, once again, Trelleborg, Lizard, Michelins. P pretty standard stuff. However, if you go with, is it, uh, yeah, I think they all have the option to go with the twins. Oh, is it just the, the Lizards? Yeah, I think it's just the lizards have the option to go with the twins, and that's what I was running out there. But uh, the rest are just single tires. And then once again, you have the option of going for a ball or a pin hitch. That's really all the options you got, but this one holds 250,000 liters, guys. That is a lot. <laughs> but uh, that is going to do it for us today. Like I said, I'll make sure I leave links in the description below for all of these mods, of course, so you can go download them for yourself. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, comments, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear back from you guys. But uh, like I said, that's it for today. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already done so. And we'll see you next time. This is Clutch, over and out.